Hi everyone, welcome back to Kids Church Online. We hope you had an amazing school holidays. Before we start, let's play a guessing game. I have an object hidden behind my back. I'll give you some clues and you'll see if you can guess what it is. Ready? Hi Sienna, can I play too? I love guessing games so much. Yes, of course. Let's hear the first clue. Boys and girls, guess at home too to see if you can guess better than Gabby. You might have one at home or in the car. Um, a table, a cat, a, a tissue. Not quite. Let's hear the next clue. It opens and closes. A fridge, an oven. Still not right. Let's keep going. Clue number three, it gets wet a lot. Uh, a dishwasher, a shower. No, you haven't got it yet. Ugh, this is so hard. It's okay, you'll get it soon. Boys and girls at home, have you guessed it yet? Here's clue number four. People stand under it to stay dry. Uh, oh, I think I know. Um, maybe let's just hear the last clue just to make sure. Okay, here we go. Clue number five. You need it when it rains. It's an umbrella. Yes, it is an umbrella. You're right. Did you get it at home too? An umbrella keeps me safe from the rain. It stops me from getting wet. This umbrella protects me. Did you know that the, in the Bible, God promises to never leave us? God is always watching over us and protecting us like this umbrella. But is this umbrella going to stop the rain from coming? No, it won't stop the rain, but it will protect you when the rain comes. It's the same with bad things in life. You might have hard times at school or kinder or even at home, but you can be sure that when God is with you at the same time, he will, he will be your protection. Today we're learning about a baby named Moses. God watched over him and protected him from harm. Before we do that, why don't we have a look to see which bucket our next clue is in this week. Welcome to the Bucket Show, everyone. Today we have a red one, a yellow one, an orange one, and a green one. And you have to guess which bucket it's in. What do you think, Sienna? I think it might be in the yellow bucket. The yellow bucket. Are you sure? I think so. You don't want to phone a friend? I think it's in the yellow okay. bucket, yeah. Big drum roll. Yeah, you ready? Um, oh, I'm so sorry, it's not oh. in the yellow one. Oh dear, that's all right. We'll try again. We'll try again. Okay. Um, Which bucket do you think it's in, Gabby? Oh, it's hard. Um, We've got three choices. Oh, there's green, orange, and red left. I think. No, no. I think I will go with the red one. Yeah, the red yeah. one. All right, big drum okay. roll. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, what looks that? like it's a basket. Oh, I wonder what that's for. Hmm. You know what, Sienna? What? I don't think the basket's the only thing we have to find this week. <gasps> I think really? we have to find one more thing. <gasps> have another guess, you have a guess. We've got green and orange left, what do you think? Ooh, I like green and orange is my favorite color. I think I might go with the green bucket. The green one, good yeah. choice. Big drum roll, you ready? Let's hope it's in the green one. Oh, I'm so oh. sorry, it's not in the green one again. All right, that's right, we've got one more. Okay, do you Would think it's in the orange, the orange? Or the orange bucket? Oh, good question. Um, I'll have to say orange. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Right. Drum roll. <gasps> What's that? It's a baby. Oh, how lovely. So we have a baby and a basket. Hmm, I wonder how those go together. I think we'll find out in our story this week. Bye. See ya. Hi, everyone. See if you can think all the way back to last term. What did we learn about? Parables, that's right. And after that, we learned about Abraham and his big family. Wow, you guys have such good memories. This term, we'll be learning about a very important man named Moses. And guess what? He was related to Abraham too. Abraham was Moses' great, 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 great grandfather. Wow. At the beginning of the story, Moses was a tiny baby and he lived in a country called Egypt. Remember how last term we learned that Joseph brought his family to live in Egypt with him? Well, this family called the Israelites grew and grew and grew. But there was a king in Egypt called the Pharaoh and he was worried that these people were getting too big and powerful. So he decided to get rid of all the baby boys. 
oh no, baby Moses was in trouble. But his mother had a plan. She took him, put him in a basket and made it waterproof. Moses' mother must have been so scared and sad and scared when she sent him down the river. She didn't know what would happen to him, but she trusted God to watch over him and to protect him. And God did just that. Pharaoh's daughter found the basket and decided to look after the baby. She gave him the name Moses because she had pulled him out of the water. Moses' big sister Miriam watched the Pharaoh's daughter pull Moses out of the water and said that she knew a woman who could help take care of Moses while he was young. What the Pharaoh's daughter didn't know was that the woman was Moses' real mother. Pharaoh's daughter that this, thought that this was a great idea. So Moses got to stay with his mother for a few years and then he became a prince and grew up in the palace. God was watching over Moses and he is watching over us too. Hard times will still come and sometimes we will feel scared just like Moses' mother. But when this happens, we can remember that we are not alone. God is with us and he will protect us. Now let's read along with the words on the screen and pray to God now. Dear God, thank you that you love us and are always watching over us. When hard times come, please help us to trust you. In your wonderful name we pray, amen. See you all next week, boys and girls. Bye.